Hey guys, welcome to this channel and today I am going to discuss about how to stay consistent with the DSA practice. So see, first of all, this thing is you might have heard of this thing, right? Without practice, even hero is zero. So that's totally applicable with the DSA only. So DSA is not hard, like DP graph is not hard, but what hard is consistency. If you do not practice regularly DSA, right? Even the question which you have solved it, you will you will forget it for sure, right? So one thing you and me should both agree on this that if you are in a backend development, right? So even after eight or 10 years of experience, DSA going to be there. And I am just telling from my experience, I have eight years of experience, but I'm telling from my, I have lost some very, very good opportunities because of DSA. So first of all, before learning the different ways to learn the consistency, I'll tell you why the thing, what consistency will bring you on the table. The first thing it will bring me on the table is like, you will remember the syntax. What, what many time happen in the interview? Like I take a lot of mock interviews. I take, right. So what generally candidate happen is, uh, I will do sorting here, but I forgot the syntax. Can I search on Google? So that's not a good impression as an interviewer and as an interviewee, you should know that this is not, will be taken in a positive way. So if you practice DSA daily, one good thing is you will know the syntax you will get in always in touch with the syntax second thing what it will bring on the table is the second thing it will bring is the confidence right it do it doesn't give guarantee i told you already even if you solve thousand question it, there is no guarantee in the interview you get the 1001 question will you be able to solve it or not but what it brings is on the table is the confidence yes i have i i graph is in my touch recursion is in my touch all these are topics in my touch my fundamentals are good even if some questions comes, I can try. Yes, you give me, I will try. I can solve it, right? So this is the thing which brings confidence and that is the biggest turnaround in the interview. Confidence, right? If you don't have the confidence in the interview itself, you already lost the half battle, right? So two things is syntax. Second thing is confidence. And this confidence build up slowly. I'll tell you how you can build up the and right this confidence doesn't like you solve 50 question it build up it develops slowly and again again loops happen is and how it slowly consistency right so consistency is the key to master the DSA right and I'll tell you the different ways of to bring this consistency right I'll tell you from my experience. So, you know, right, my very good friend, uh, Sundar Gopal Singh, he is in Walmart, right? So we, I talked to him because I totally lost the interest into DSA at one point of the time. I was not able to practice. I was totally into system design, office work and all. But now I told that, hey, Sundar, let's start uh, DSA. So what I'm trying to do is I am first step, try to do peer to peer programming, right? So I reach out to my peer, right? Hey Sundar, let's, are you interested in practicing DSA? He said, yes. And we decided that time, okay, let's do morning time and let's try to practice questions. So daily morning, what we will do is we try to pick one question and solve it and we give it a time. That's, uh, we started with one question, one hour. That's all. To be honest, we were very slow. So we pick uh, medium questions one question, one hour, sometimes we want, we were not able to solve it. So what problem was happening and how did we resolve it? So let's say today's question, which we picked, we couldn't able to solve it. So what we will do is when next, next day we were coming, we were trying to solve the previous day unsolved question. So this is one of the mistake. So always pick the new question, always pick the new question and try the fresh question on the fresh day. The question which you have unsolved it, Keep it tracked, right? And maybe when you have extra time during weekends or during days, when you have extra, work on those. Why you couldn't solve it? Second problem in the peer-to-peer -peer programming, which we uh, uh, faced is like, uh, sometimes he gets off his work, sometimes I get off his work, sometimes he has to go somewhere. So he's not available. Sometimes I am not available. So we have one week it goes well. But after that, he is going to some marriage function. I am going to somewhere. So there is a sync up break. 
right so then again it got break so this is become in challenging sometimes like if you have only two members and then one goes somewhere and then alone you can't do it right so that's where what how i resolved it right i created one group i created a telegram group right and i have uh, started posting right okay i will always uh, practice one question and post it right so this is now you can say that now my peers is now increased from one my best friend to now a group right the fellow engineers and how this fellow engineers came is from linkedin i reach out to the linkedin hey i want to practice daily one dsa question are you also guys also interested right so somehow they all reach out and i created a, a telegram group and we reach out so daily i pick a question i solve it and at least i say hey i have solved my today's question what about you guys so somebody else said that i also solved it and all these things so it become a habit right so this is one other way to getting a peer it's not around what people you know it's also you can also reach out to the linkedin and you will see that many people are ready to join because they all want certain partners to practice right then now second thing what is important to stay consistent is track yourself how's your week going right so i you might be seeing the board bad back right so it's like uh, if you see that there is a column for each monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and here if you see the daily dsa practice uh, daily dsa practice tick tick cross cross tick cross so it's just like uh, like which day i have practiced dsa which day i haven't practiced so every week i keep track myself like at the end of the week sunday right end i just do analyze okay uh, all the important task i have written my here daily dsa practice system design learning and all other things right i've kept it here so i see that okay over the week this important work has all crossed so i will see okay what went wrong and somebody has all right what went right so i just do like okay what can be improved to bring some right so first is peer to peer second is track yourself third thing is finding a motivational like to push you so sometimes is like peer to peer and here is like okay you are there is no one to push you right somebody in the group says that hey i have solved one question right and let's say the tracking also but are they pushing you like hey if you haven't pushed it i will do this thing to you so something is like afraidness right so for me i have created a youtube channel for it right daily dsa practice this channel right so this is i created just for the consistency so my intention is daily dsa practice and keep the channel daily means 7 days a week right 365 days in a year i should be adding a video but definitely if you see the history in a week sometime it's three sometime it's two sometime there is no sometime there are five but at least there is something like there is no week there is no video right so now who is pushing me youtube i created i bring youtube hey hey youtube push me right so what happen is youtube has certain algorithm if you if it, if you don't push the content for long it might not promote you also right everything has an algorithm so i just created like okay i have, i have to push i have to add a video otherwise uh, youtube algorithm will not work in a proper way so something ki bhai jisse aapko dar lage ki yaar yeah i have not done it i have to do it for sure man i have to do it right so that is very very important guys until and unless you don't have anything to afraid of either you get all wrong 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 here in the board and in the peer to peer programming group which you have created maybe others become more active hey i am doing question but you will lag behind right so something you need to kick you are practice kar right something should be needed either create a linkedin start posting on linkedin right see when people start to uh, appreciating you right hey you have written very nicely right hey the way you have explained it very nicely that's motivates you and when something motivates you right and when you get appreciation from others right that's a very very big kick and if you don't do it you yourself say that no no i am good in it 
somebody is liking somebody is waiting for me let me write it so what i'm trying to say is that bring something which will kick you like if you don't do it if you because this is board is totally in my hand even if it is all going wrong hey nothing what will happen let's see next week group is on all in my hand everybody is sending let's say i have done today's question i have done today's question nobody is questioning me hey shan why you haven't done the question right so something should be there to questions me right now one thing i would say that plan your day this is very very important see the biggest challenge of this consistency is so the everything is related to each other if you want a consistency you have to plan your day properly so see most of us like the problem those who are college guys right they might be solving five questions per day or even uh, sometimes seven questions per day they have, because they have lot of time available right but those who have office work i am pretty much sure 8 9 hours 10 hours goes like this 8 uh, hours in office let's say 2 hours in traveling one are going one are coming meetings and all so there is very very less time hey okay now let's sit for dsa now even sometime happen is your mind is also so, so frustrated that you don't have that much power to put into a question so you have to plan your day properly right so the active after so see my i day i i plan my day like that i end my office after that i kept two hours break and then i kept for the dsa so in my office and my dsa practice i have two hours gap so in the two hours gap uh, gap my mind get refresh i do i play with my niece nephew and all so and i go out so my mind got fresh it just you finish office work and then sit for dsa you could you definitely you won't be able to solve it so you have to plan your day okay this time i will sit for dsa morning time i will sit for dsa so that your work should not get affected plus you know that at what time you have to sit if you just say that okay i have to do today one question but you don't know what is the time so what will happen is uh, at night when before sleeping you said oh today's question i haven't solved it i will do now so you will do question some unusual time so the one thing consistency will come is like plan your day very at the morning itself how at what time today based upon your meetings today and all how your office work is going today plan it accordingly that yeah this time is fit for me today but tell me your way of bringing the consistency of your dsn see you so bye